Buongiorno a tutti, today is my 23rd day of quarantine and uh, I have to confess you that days started to look all the same. I don't know sometimes if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't care. But today it's Sunday and on Sundays maybe you know that Italians, if they can, they prepare fresh pasta at home. Today my mom made tagliatelle and I know how much you love Italian food and how much you love my videos so I decided to record her and step by step I explain to you this recipe. You don't need to be a superhero or to have Italian blood in your veins to make your own fresh pasta. You only need a little bit of experience but very few ingredients. A very important thing you should know is also how to pronounce the word tagliatelle but this is already explained in a video I made called challenge. But today is not an Italian language lesson, today we're gonna discover together how to prepare fresh tagliatelle at home. Here we go, those are the ingredients mm -hmm. for four people. We need 500 grams of all preparation flour. Mm -hmm. If you see I'm pronouncing the word flour properly now, mm -hmm. then we need one glass of water, salt and three eggs. Mm -hmm. Resuming everything, three eggs, water, salt and 500 grams of flour. Firstly, place 400 grams of flour onto a large wooden board, then shape the flour into a volcano with a large hole in the center. Then crack the eggs and pour them into the middle. Add salt, few pinches. Then using a fork, beat the eggs lightly. Then mix in the flour a little at a time. It is very essential that the flour is gradually beaten into the eggs to ensure the, the walls of your beautiful volcano don't break too soon. As you can see, you add the flour from the inside, little by little. And add a little bit of water to help the melting process. Keep doing it, I will mm -hmm. speed it up a little bit. Keep doing it until you obtain a consistent bowl of duck. Clean the board and put the extra flour in a bowl because you will use it later. Now you are ready to work and kneel the duck with the heel of your hand for 10-15 minutes or until the mixture is smooth and very elastic. If the dough is too sticky, you can use some of the flour you still have. Keep working it and as you can see use the heel of your hand. Once you think your dough is smooth and elastic, you can shape it into a bowl and leave it rest for 30 minutes. What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? After 30 minutes you are ready to work it again but before you should dust your wooden board with one spoon of flour. Now this is the harder part. You should try to unwrap the dough and flatten it with a rolling pin. And you have to roll out the dough into a thin pasta sheet less than one millimeter thick. I think this is the hardest part because you should pay attention to not to break your dough and uh, you have to roll it from the inside toward the outside. And you have to repeat this passage several times until you obtain a perfect pasta sheet. If you notice that your dough is too sticky in some parts, feel free to add as much flour as you need. As you can see, making the perfect fresh pasta dough is quite simple. You only need a little bit of patience and uh, a little bit of experience. As always, the more you try, the more you will be expert.
and these more or less should be the result. Now you only need to cut your pasta sheet into tagliatelle. So roll it up and fold it like when you are folding a shirt. And then cut it into stripes. As you can see, the stripes are two centimeters large, more or less. Now the best moment, the glorious moment. Once you engrave your stripes, you will discover that you made tagliatelle. Dust your tagliatelle freely with flour to stop them from sticking. There are many traditional sauces that are perfect with handmade pasta, but the most traditional dressing certainly is ragù alla bolognese, like this one that my super mom made. Boil some salted water and boil your tagliatelle for 3-5 minutes. Add your favorite sauce and you made it! It's time to eat! Isn't it looking delicious? And now there's only one last thing to do but it doesn't require an explanation. Buon appetito! So that's it, I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, if you are making your own tagliatelle please share with me a picture because I'm very curious to see the results and you know also for the bread making video you shared with me many pictures and this was incredible to see how much you love cooking. If you need any information write me on the comments, I'm gonna answer as soon as possible to you. If you want to contact me or share with me pictures, you can use also the Instagram page, follow me on San Florence Tours. If you want to keep watching my videos, uh, subscribe to my channel, San Florence Tours. If you want to book with me a tour or if you need any information, you can check it on the webpage www.sanflorencetours.it. That's it guys, see you soon.